Hello, I'm going to read another story by Kim Lardner and it is called The Sad Little Monster and the Jelly Bean Queen. Once upon a time there was a sad little monster. He lived all alone and no one ever came to see him. He ate sour sobs and drank seawater. You can, his, whoops. you can see his sad little face. His lonely old house stood on a deserted craggy island where the sky was always dark and the wind was always cold. Far away there lived a fair princess with golden hair. She ate jelly beans for breakfast, lunch and tea. On her island the sky was always bright and the wind was always warm. One day, after her breakfast of jelly beans, the fair princess said, I'd really like to share my jelly beans with somebody. So she took a bag of jelly beans, boarded her sailing boat and sailed across the sea. For days she sailed, for days and days and days and days she sailed, until one day the sky became dark and the wind blew cold. There, off in the distance, she saw a dark craggy house on a dark craggy island. Perhaps there would be someone there to share her jelly beans. So she beached the sailing boat and started to climb the black craggy rocks. The rocks were very sharp and slippery and they cut holes in her socks, but she clutched her jelly bean bag and kept climbing. Soon there was a hole in the bag too, and as she climbed the jelly beans fell through one by one. Even before she reached the house, the bag was empty and she didn't even notice the trail of jelly beans left behind her. The sad little monster had been watching her. What do you want? He croaked. Hello, she said. I've come to share my jelly beans with you. But as she held up the bag, she could see that all the jelly beans were gone. Lost! What could she do? She could only smile at the sad little monster. He liked it. So she smiled a bigger smile. And slowly, he started to smile too. Soon they were both smiling and laughing, and together they smiled and laughed for hours. The next day, the princess went back to her island, for she missed the golden sand. But the little monster was not sad any more. His island was now a bright and happy place. He smiled more often and had bright and happy parties. The fair princess came to, and they all called her the Jelly Bean Queen. And that is the end of that story. Bye.